Hey guys, so welcome back to my video. So welcome back. So guys, this we just got done with the women's 100 meters hurdles. Now we're getting into the 400 meter range. So we're going to cover our first 400 meter hurdles, which features Rye Benjamin. We're doing the men's side first, and then we're going to do the women's side last. And then we will focus on the relays which will close out the um, the Olympics events so for for the men's 400 hurdles we have two semis and then one final so we're doing Rye Benjamin and then Christian Warnholm at the end so guys so welcome to the pen ultimate last event of the first part of the evening before we get to night time which will be the relays so guys this is going to be insane now we know that um christian warmholm has the world record um with the 45 range but in hot pursuit we have rye benjamin which is also super fast and the 400 hurdles but he's also very good when it comes to the flat 400 as well he runs close to 43 and 44 subs um and when it comes to the 400 flat but Ryan Benjamin has been on a redemption arc, I would say, because there's been two or three times that Christian Warmholm has beaten him. And, and behind them, too, you have Alison Dos Santos, which is the third fastest man of all time. So these three will be spotting to get first, second, and third. And I think you could either interchange them at any time. That's how quick and fast these three men are so going into this first semis I know Rye Benjamin is gonna set a tone to, to to carry him on to the finals which I cannot wait for so without further ado guys the men's 400 hurdles semis and then we'll have the second semis and then we will close out with the final okay guys let's go Really, he's not panicking that's the good thing because while everybody else from lane I would say the other lanes are making up fast staggers um, he already made up his very quickly it feels like because it's so natural to him it feels like he's running like a flat 400 which is actually insane if you think about it because running with hurdles is even tougher without having it now he is doing the third semis and then we're gonna go back and watch the second semis or the first semis but I see Ry Benjamin not playing around already and he's taking each round more and more seriously alright I think what's cool is they divided all of the three fastest men and the 400 and separate heats so that way they will meet or they will all meet each other when they get to the final Damn, 47.86 for the third semi. And Jamaica's right after him. So the fact that he he basically just jogged a 47.86 a 47 for his semis is pretty insane to think about. Because everybody else is gunning for not only America, but Norway and... Um, um, Brazil because those are where the three fastest men um, are coming from and to see what they just did just now That's pretty insane for what Rye Benjamin just did. So he set a tone I got to look at what the other two semis are gonna look like to compare and contrast but a 47 86 is no joke That could be like the fifth or eighth fastest time in history and he just jogged that so I can't wait to see what he's gonna run in the final but I think what he needs to do is run his own race because you know the Viking is gonna be going out very very strong especially that's how Christian Warmholm runs he runs so fast that when you trying to catch up to you can't run his games like the way he runs is like you can't play around with like his tactics or else you're gonna be tired We've seen that happen at certain world championships and even Tokyo Olympics. We saw that. 
So without further ado guys, thank you guys so much. This is going to be the first round for me on the um on my side and I'm going to watch the second the second semis and then we're going to jump into the final. Okay guys? Thank you guys so much and au revoir.